What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Icy, and today we're going to be playing some Control on All Fathers. Now, I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. Uh, this is an this is a uh, voiceover. I am not talking while playing in this first part of the section, so um, just wanted to let you guys know that. On checkout, though, as you'll see later on, I am uh, talking while playing. So, anyways, I've never really done this before, a little voiceover, but today I want to talk to you guys about um, some maps that I would love to see return in the future of Gears. Um, what I mean by that is really Gear 6. Um, obviously, if we get a remastered of Gears 2 and 3, um, it would be cool to see these maps as well. But I'm really talking about Gear 6 today. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, it, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens. Obviously, you know, some of the maps that I'm going to be naming today um, are very nostalgic. Who knows how well they'll actually play with like the newer game modes and stuff. But either way, um, you know, for me personally, they were the most memorable maps. And I just love the, you know, the way that they look. And I had some really good times on them. So, yeah, uh, with that being said, guys, the very first map that we will be talking about today is Gears 2 Mansion. Um, the reason I say Gears 2 Mansion is just because of how it looks. Um, I actually prefer Gears 1 um, and how it looks the most. But Gears 2, man, it had just a beautiful kind of overgrowth to it, um, a little greenish, dark green uh, type of feeling to it, and it was just an amazing map. Um, I know a lot of us, you know, enjoyed this map growing up, whether it was Execution, Wingman, uh, Guardian, whatever, but just a very, very beautiful map, um, and it's just, it screams Gears of War even without, you know, Ty sitting here chainsawing the couches. Um, it's just... An amazing, ugly, gritty, dark map, and uh, I love that map. I would love to see it return. So, uh, you know, hopefully it does. Um, obviously, with a remaster, like I said, it probably will. But if they do bring it back in Gear Six, I would like it to be dark and gritty, just like that. So, um, the next map that we're going to be talking about, guys, is Pavilion. Now, Pavilion has like a little bit of a different type of vibe to it. Um, it's a little bit brighter. Um, a little bit more like civilized in a way. Um, it doesn't feel so abandoned. Um, it definitely has a different feeling to it, but just again, just a beautiful, beautiful map. Um, I mean, it's hard to deny the, the, the graphics, um, back then, man. I mean, it, it, it's crazy how well they hold up, um, even after all this time, man. So beautiful, beautiful game, obviously beautiful map. And, um, you know, I would love to see that map return as well. I'm actually very surprised that we never did see Pavilion return, uh, to be honest with you, just because of how popular it was. Um, that map, along with like Jacinto, um, was a very popular pick amongst the Gears 2 maps when playing ranked and stuff. So definitely interesting that that map never actually got back into the cycle. But at the end of the day, um, who knows how those maps would actually play like, you know, with like the newer type of uh, game modes and and, you know, weapons and things like that. Obviously, the gameplay is a little bit different than back then. So definitely an interesting uh, thought, um, you know, about those maps. But uh, yeah. Uh, here in a few minutes, I have, well, I guess it's just a minute or so. Um, I have another map. This is actually my favorite Gears 2 map um, in the game. Um, one of the most underrated Gears of War maps in the history of the franchise, in my opinion. Um, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful masterpiece of a map, man. Like, it, it's crazy. Uh, when I first loaded back up into Gears 2 um, a few months ago, I saw the map. that, And I honestly, I'll admit it. Like, I admit it. Like, I, I completely forgot that that map even existed just because it never made its way into any other Gears game um, that was relevant. So... It just is, you know, an absolutely beautiful map, and I actually had to give it its own little section in this video, which is why I'm doing a voiceover now. Um, that's how amazing this map was. So, um, yeah, I don't know what you guys think about it, but for me personally, it's literally a top three map of all time, in my opinion. Mansion, this map, and yeah. So here it is, guys. All Fathers Garden. Went from All Fathers Arena to All Fathers Garden. This map right here is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated Gears of War maps, like I said, in the history of the franchise. Um, just between the, you know, the stormy night and the water 
and just the detail the city skyline in the background um you know and then just the pure grittiness of the actual map look at all the texture the details the lighting everything about this map is once again just screaming gears of war even if you know you didn't have general rom sitting here with a lancer shooting the water <laughs> um th this this map is genuinely a masterpiece and it impresses me to this day um you know in, in, you know in today you know we got we have vr we have 4k gaming we have you know all of these amazing amazing graphical games right and if you look at just this map alone and think about it that the fact that this map re was released in 2008 that doesn't even make sense on the xbox 360 like this map is beautiful um there's almost nothing that i don't like about it um obviously like i said you know this is the type of map that may not be great for certain game modes but in general as a gears of war fan you know this is the type of stuff that i personally appreciate um i appreciate the dedication to the the fine details um i appreciate the darkness the color schemes of everything i appreciate just you know even like just like the little fog and the mist and everything i mean you know that's a lot of work man like a lot of people don't realize when creating a game here you go you got the vases that actually are destructible i mean it's unbelievable man the amount of detail that they put into this game and specifically this map um it, it, it's impressive to this day and you know it's hard to deny that gears of war 2 is one of the greatest video games ever made um you know and it just goes to show that with a little bit of hard work and with like something that is like a passion project if you will um you know you're gonna create something special and that's exactly what they did with gears of war 2 um that's why to this day it's the most memorable game for many people uh, for me personally somebody who's traveled the world to play professionally you know for gears of war and you know i've done everything that you could ever do in gears of war um just going back and walking around on that map gives me goosebumps because it reminds me of my childhood man it reminds me of growing up and playing wingman with my friend and playing horde and it's just a great memory that i have and you know it just takes you back man even just walking around those maps i really encourage you guys um you know it may be a little bit corny and that's fine but you know i don't really care i encourage you guys to go back load up some gears too and just even walk around some of those maps, man, in a custom horde or whatever you you know you want to do. Um, run around with bots, run around with friends, whatever. But I really encourage you guys to go around and just reminisce on how good those maps truly were. Um, they are, you know, unbelievable in terms of quality and just fine detail. Like I said, I'm going to keep reiterating that because it just is so impressive to me, um, you know, and then even like here i am on all fathers arena right playing gears 5 like you know this doesn't feel like gears of war and you can kind of see it just in the color scheme alone right um i yeah i mean yeah sure you know the graphics are nice it's you know newer you know it's a little bit smoother i understand like i you know obviously that's kind of what happens you know as time goes on but um you know there's no real reason that you can't bring back that dark gritty feeling um in today's age i mean there's no there's no excuse for that so in my opinion they definitely need to be getting back to that type of style that type of you know vibe if you will that type of feeling um you know in, in the future of gears man i think gear six needs to be that you know i don't think gear six needs to follow um gears five in its footsteps i don't think gear six needs to follow some of these other games um, just because we're in a new age doesn't mean that we need to copy and paste all of these other video games, man. Let's stay, you know, let's stick to our roots. Let's do what we do best. And let's get, you know, that dark, gritty feeling back into the Gears universe, man, that we all want. Um, that's exactly why we all started playing this game. And that feeling that Gears gave us back in the day is the reason that we still come back to this game time and time again. Um, for me personally, it's why, you know, I'm, I'm very loyal to this game is because that feeling is, is non replaceable. You know, you can't find it anywhere else. Um, playing apex, playing call of duty, playing halo, playing anything. Um, it doesn't quite give me that feeling, um, that gears of war once did. And obviously I understand that I am holding on to the, you know, the nostalgia a bit, but I mean, how can you blame me, man? You know, gears of war was was part of my life since I was 10 years old. And, uh, you know, it's just a beautiful game. 
I have all the books. I have all the, you know, every little collectible thing that you could ever, you know, think of. I've, I, I've either, you know, I had it or I have it. Um, and it just is amazing that, you know, Gears of War had such an impact on me personally and millions of others. Um, I think it's really important, you know, to continue to say that we need to get back to our roots. Um, you know, I'm going to say that because I know I have a voice um, in this community and I really want that to be, you know, heard. Um, I promise you, man, and the coalition, if you're listening to this video, I promise you we want some more maps that, you know, make us remember what Gears of War is really like. Um, you know, one map that you did really, really good, shout out to Ben, um, you know who you are, um, was Tomb. Tomb was one of the best Gears 5 maps, in my opinion. Um, it, it has that dark, gritty feeling. It has that, you know, nostalgic type of Gears of War vibe to it. And that is exactly what we're looking for, um, you know, into in, in the future of Gears, man. That's really what we want. So um, I really encourage, you know, you guys at the Coalition, if you're listening, to, to remember these words and understand that it's not just me. It's the community. This is what we want. Um, there's a reason that those games were so popular, Gears 1, 2, and 3. Um, you know, that that dark you know, feeling to it is exactly what we're looking for. So I really hope that you guys bring that back, man. Um, either way, guys, uh, that's going to be it um, for this section of the video. The next section is me talking while playing. Um, this is the first time I've ever done like an actual voiceover. So let me know if you guys liked it, man. Um, it definitely has, you know, a different, different aspect to it. So uh, just let me know down in the comments. And also, guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about those maps, man. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? What other maps would you throw in there? Let me know. Um, you know, I, there, there's so many good maps, even maps like Nowhere and uh, Highway. You know, these Gears 2 maps are really good. Um, I didn't throw them in this video, but I just really wanted to kind of talk about All Fathers because that map is unbelievable. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments, guys. I really love you guys. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. Um, forgot to hit record. This game literally just started, though, so it's all good. And I got sniped, of course. But yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, basically, you know, like based off of the weapons and the the uh, game modes and stuff. Like, it, it just depends on how those maps would play, I guess. Nowadays, obviously, Gears Two is a bit of a different game. Um, and we don't really know what the future holds, you know. Um, for, for a remaster, I for sure would love to see those maps. And I would really like to see them in Gear 6 as well, just because I think that, you know, they they hold up well over time. Uh, meaning, you know, they're probably good maps and it's not really like just nostalgia talking, so. Damn. I don't know how we didn't kill this guy. I don't know why my teammate left me. Can't see him. Oh, they have a snipe again. Big win, buddy. No, stay in spawn. No. Go back to spawn, brother. You're getting sniped. You're dead. Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Like, do you really not know he's there? Nice job, teammate. Nice job. I like almost never get to use these like little side weapons, man. Like the retro, the claw. The claw is, I mean, the claw is like the most broken gun in the game. I'm not going to lie, but it is fun to use. Okay. I did not even know I was getting flanked. It's 
my fault, I guess. I had no idea. So, like, right here on this hill, guys, just, like, for, you know, some knowledge for you guys. Playing in the back of the spawn is good, man. Like, playing up like this is okay, but it, it kind of risks death. And it's not always needed. So, like, now when I'm pushing up over here, right, they're going to spawn where I just spawned. Back in that, uh, back in that same spawn. Which is kind of, you know, good for them, to be honest. Oh, they actually didn't. Wow. Um, that's actually really surprising. Normally, they'll spawn back there. Oh, this guy's one. That's why I love alternate, man. That right there. Alternate is the only control scheme that you can, like, actually use rolling, like, to your advantage. You still have a spawn shield? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, just kind of like stick sticking around plat when you have snipe is good too, to be honest. That's not a headshot. There we go. We're on the board. I couldn't get one. Yeah, man, obviously, like I said, let me know down in the comments what kind of maps you guys would like to see return um, in both a remaster or uh, just Gear 6 in general. I mean, I feel like with Gear 6, they have, um, you know, an opportunity to bring back some really good maps, but also, like, spend a lot of time making good maps. So, uh, obviously, fingers crossed on that, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, like, super, super harsh. Wow, I missed... Um, on this game because I am typically pretty harsh on Gears 5 as I'm sure most of you guys know But in general, I mean most of the maps that were made in Gears 5 were not that great um, Some maps that are good that I will genuinely give credit to um, Would be like tomb tomb is a really good map um, Asylum I enjoy I like the map the only thing I don't like is the train to be honest with you I think the train should be controllable. I don't think it should be random. Um, yeah, I mean, those are some good maps. I, I'm not really a huge fan of, you know, other maps. I mean, like, I'm not going to count, like, Reclaimed and Checkout, obviously, like this one. Like, I'm not going to count those because that's not really a Gears 5 map. Um, that's just kind of a, you know, a map that was brought back. So, don't really count them, but... In general, I think that, you know, their their map creation in this game wasn't where it needs to be. And I really hope in Gear 6 that changes. But like I said, I also would really like to see them bring bring back those maps because I think they're, like, severely underrated. Oh, my goodness. I got destroyed. guy loves flanking does he know i'm here i think he does he definitely does <laughs> well if you're gonna fight me you gotta fight me man you can't just do circles i'm pushing this Oh, I'm definitely dead. That is the call. No escaping that. No escaping that weapon.
might die here. Downed him. Also, is Ty not one of the greatest characters of all time in any video game? Like, what an underrated character, man. I'm telling you. Like, it's unfortunate what happened to him in Gears 2, obviously. I'm not going to ruin it for those of you who don't know. But, man. Man, man, man. What an underrated legend of a character. He's actually just a beast. His whole demeanor and everything is just amazing. Definitely one of my favorite characters. I don't even know what's happening. Wait, am I getting up? Wait. Wait, I'm actually up. I point blank this guy. And then I got flanked? No way. See, that's <clears throat> that's that spawn I was actually telling you guys about on the other end. It's the exact same spawn, just the other side. They, that, that guy literally spawned behind me. <laughs> it's actually a good thing, like, for them. He spawned right here. Ninety-seven percent, dude. Wow, that's insane. Ninety-seven. Wait, I thought we killed this guy. I'm lost. I don't know why I thought my teammates killed that guy. That's my fault. If you guys are still watching the video, thank you so much, man. Uh, it means a lot to me. Come check out the streams, obviously. Um, everything's down in the descri description below. I stream uh, a few times a week around 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern. Come uh, give me a follow over there on Twitch, and you'll know when I'm live. And I would also really appreciate it. You're one, brother. You are one bullet. Oh, you have help. I that guy so hurt. Yeah. Don't want to be challenging a retro. That's for sure. I don't know if you guys can hear my dogs in the background, but they're playing. I have two corgis. Well, I had one corgi, but my girlfriend moved in with me, and she also had a corgi, so, you know? Just works out. Louie and Mochi are their names. I got, I got up eight or something behind me, or what happened here? Yeah. All right. Got the win. Um, two pretty solid games there. I didn't think I played that great in this checkout one, but I don't know. It is what it is. Anyways, I hope that you guys are uh, still enjoying the content, man. I know Gears 5 is a little bit slow, but we have some really good news coming soon, I believe. So uh, things are looking up, man. I really appreciate you guys, man. I really have appreciated you guys over the years. You guys mean a lot to me. So I hope that I, I hope that the feeling is mutual. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys are all doing well. Um, life can be hard, so keep grinding, keep your head down, and stay safe, boys. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.